Hey guys, TGIF, happy Friday. I am coming on, I have taken almost the last 30 days um, and been on another sabbatical and in that time have been working on these exercises that have been centered around releasing judgment. And hey, Nikki. Hey, guys. Hello, Mr. Moore. Hello, everyone. I know it's been a minute, right? Um, I literally have spent almost the last 30 days. It'll be coming up on 30 days um, on Tuesday. And I've taken that time to intentionally release judgment. And I'm going to be teaching on this. I'm going to be sharing more because I, I intentionally decided to lighten up my life, to lighten up, to tread more lightly, to extend more grace. Um, that's so Jill says, teach us women in and out. Apologies for that poor connection. Um, but yeah, teach us what that looks like. Exactly. That's so Jill. Like I am going to be creating a small workbook around these exercises that I've just done and what has been so insightful about this time is that I I don't think we quite realize how much we judge others how much we're judging ourselves and the effect that this has on our soul the effect that this has on how we're navigating life and the heavy emotions that we're carrying because we are sitting in the judge's seat constantly. We're constantly judging. Instead of extending love and grace, we're constantly judging each other. We're constantly judging ourselves and that inner critic is constantly talking. And I've got some in, uh, just life-changing insight in this last 30 days of doing this work. And, and the changes it's brought about in my own heart, in my own mind, um, the changes it's brought about in my heart posture, my spiritual posture, mindset and lifestyle of how I'm going about my days is absolutely amazing. And so I'm going to be sharing, I'm just coming on to kind of give you guys a heads up that I'm going to be sharing more. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be creating a little freebie workbook that is the beginning of teaching these exercises. The insight that I've gotten in this last 30 days, I'm going to package it into a small little freebie workbook for you to learn how to do some of these exercises. Um, because I literally, my mind has just been blown like this last 30 days as I'm, I approached this, these exercises. Um, and you know, I, I, the work, even the way it was presented, I just, I had never seen it anywhere before. I hadn't seen anybody teaching this and it's so life changing that I've got to share it. I've just absolutely got to share it. So I will be back. I'm happy Friday, TGIF. Shanice, hi, sweetheart. Hello, hello, hello. Um, but to make like a long story short for just this, this quick message is We've got to move into a position of where we are extending others more grace and extending ourselves more grace and compassion. Um, and there's exercises around how to do that. Not just giving lip service to it, not just quoting some scriptures, but how to do it, right? Um, because as we know, there's theory and then there's practical application, right? That's so Jill, right? it, it, there's a gap. It's like, yes, we know we're not supposed to judge, but yet that's just like a scripture and a saying. And then we go throughout our day completely judging people that we see. What she got on, what she wear. Oh my gosh, look at her hair. Um, you get on the on social media, you're judging. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. And so we're judging our sisters and brothers. And connection went out again. We're sowing that. And as you give, it shall be given. So now we are reaping judgment and critique guilt, shame back on ourselves. And so often, well, as I was sharing this with people in my inner circle, as I was working through this and kind of getting into the awareness and the awakening of this and how life changing it is, I was trying to verbalize it and share it in my inner circle. And some of the people around me were like, Rebecca is, you know, is it even possible to live judge free? Is this even possible? 
opinions. We're allowed to have opinions. But this is what I learned inside of these exercises, inside of my own journey with these guys. Most of our opinions are just judgment masked as analysis. Most of our opinions is just judgment masked as analysis. And so, yes, we all have opinions, but how much of those opinions is really just judgment? We're not extending to our brothers and sisters the same compassion, the same, we're, we're so quick to find others so guilty of the same things we're guilty of, but we want to hold to our innocence and we want the, the grace extended to us over our lessons and mistakes and worst places in life. But then we fail to extend that same grace and, and be able to offer the innocence to view our brothers and sisters in the same way. And so we're out here consumed in a world that is so vicious and so quick to judge and condemn instead of praying for each other we're literally praying on each other and this goes listen this is the other thing i learned this last 30 days it doesn't it's not even applying to the most vicious or what you might consider evil people i'm talking about believers Whitney, hi, sweetheart. I'm talking about believers. I'm talking about those of us who say that we are faith-filled, loving Christians, Muslims, whatever faith you are that follows me. I'm not even talking about somebody who don't even call themselves a believer or a follower of any certain faith. I'm talking about believers with vicious vicious but then we don't realize we're sowing that and we're reaping that in our own lives and then not ever having been taught that becoming judgment free and stepping out of the judge's seat is one of the most crucial elements of the happiness formula to truly truly be happy and begin to set yourself free to live a life of ease and flow and peace and grace, we have got to get out of the judge's seat because this is one of the key aspects of peace and happiness that we've never really been taught how to practically apply it to our lives. And my mind in, in this 30 days has just been completely blown, guys. Like, how did I not know this? How did I not know that this is how we are supposed to be navigating? So I'm going to do some videos about it. I'm going to share. I just wanted to guys let you guys know that I'm back. You're going to see me more. I'll be teaching more. And I've got a freebie coming your way for this judgment release exercise to lighten up. Right? How to lighten up. How do we lighten up our own lives and let our light shine so it can shine into the darkness of our own darkness and the darkness in others and other order for us to live in peace and love. Okay, so I'll be back to share. I love you guys. TGIF, happy Friday. I'm going to babysit my grandbabies this evening. I'm so excited to spend the evening with the girls. I love you guys. Blessings. Let me pray. God, we thank you for Friday. We thank you for this short, short talk. God, I thank you for this new season, this new chapter, this rebirth and reset that you're taking us into, God. As we clean house and we lighten up, the perfect timing that coincides with spring to let go and release the old and walk into new seasons and new chapters in our lives. God, we embrace it. We invoke it. And we thank you in advance for everything that you're going to bring into our awareness, into our discovery, so that we can walk this thing out in peace and love and abundance. Amen. Love you guys. Bye-bye.